What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Cerule Edge Master Tier team to push you guys to that Master Tier before Series 1 ends. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. We have been pumping out Scarlet and Violet content, and Series 2 is right around the corner, so we're going to be bringing you guys teams with all of the Paradox Pokemon on it. So if you guys want to stay up to date, like I said, click that big red subscribe button. But before we get started here with today's team preview, gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Clover Bells. Thank you so much for making this team a rental code. If you guys want to see a full in-depth analysis for this team, make sure you guys go check out Clover Bells' channel. Link will be down in the description below. But we get started here with today's team preview, starting off in the top left corner with Cerule Edge. And I feel like everybody loves this Pokemon, especially myself. I feel like its design is absolutely amazing, and it is still super strong on the rank ladder. It has Flash Fire as its ability, the Clear Amulet as its item, then it's Rocket Bitter Blade, Bulk Up, Shadow Sneak, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be my boy Grimmsnarl over here. It is Screens Grimmsnarl, but without Light Clay. So we're rocking the Babiri Berry and Prankster as its ability. Like I already mentioned, both screens, Light Screen and Reflect. Then we got Parting Shot and Spirit Break for its other two moves. Third Pokemon is going to be the one and only Hydreigon. Like I said, it is a meta team for you guys to, to use on the Master Tier. Again, Series 1 ends in like four days. Get to that Master Tier, get all the rewards, all that good stuff. But we got Hydreigon here as our third Pokemon with Levitate and the Life Orb as its ability. And then it's got Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Tailwind, and Terra Blast for an amazing moveset. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Meowskerat, and this Pokemon is so good. I feel like every time I'm using it, I'm picking up some big time KOs. It's got Overgrow, it's got the Focus Ash, then Trock and Flower Trick, Sucker Punch, Trick Room, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is my boy Rotom Wash. Cannot go wrong with the washing machine right here with Levitate and Citrus Berry as its item. It's got Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Will It Wist to burn physical attackers, and then it has Protect for its fourth and final move. Final Pokemon on today's team is King Gambit. Every time I'm using King Gambit, this Pokemon is just great in all situations. It's got Defiant as its ability, the Black Glasses as its item, then it's Rockin' Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, and Protect, a fairly normal moveset for any King Gambit. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with the Cerule Edge Master Tier team. First match for today's video coming at you guys, we're going up against a sick team. Noivern, Miss Magius, and Medichan team with Gyarados, Sea Titan, and King Gambit. Definitely looking really cool. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win and get to see some of these Pokemon on the rank ladder. So hopefully they bring in Miss Magius. I got to use Noivern already, but I haven't seen Miss Magius on the rank ladder yet. I really want our opponent to bring that. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I am really leaning towards a nice lovely Meowskarada lead considering that Pokemon is absolutely amazing. I want Cerule Edge, and I think I'm going to lead Cerule Edge as well. Considering they do have Gyarados, and Gyarados could intimidate me turn one, and then I have the clear amulet right here right now. So that can actually protect us from that. But again, if you do go into Gyarados, we can always Terras Slice, because I believe we have Grass Terra. Yeah, we have Grass Terra. That's going to be pretty solid for us. So I'm going to go Cerule Edge here. Maybe try to get a bulk up turn one as well. So that wouldn't be bad. So Cerule Edge, um, probably Hydreigon, try to pop a Tailwind, take complete speed control from our opponent, and then go meet Alskarada, and last but not least, do we go Gambit or Rotom? Hmm. Gambit or Rotom? Let's call here. I'm, I'm leaning towards a little bit of Rotom action. I haven't used Rotom in a while. I want to use that Pokemon. I love me some Rotom. I love me some Rotom Watch. I love all the Rotoms, but I never, ever see the fan Rotom out in the rank line. I think I used it once in, like, was it Sword and Shield or BDSP? And it's solid. Like, it doesn't do bad, but there's just so many better flying options than Rotom Fan. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just, it's a, it's a cool Pokemon, but again, so many better options. But they go in with the Pokemon that I want to see. Miss Magus is going to come out here. Super dope Pokemon and super dope shiny. Look at that. Nice little gold. Woo! Look at Spicy. Look at Spicy. So I could Shadow Sneaker. Could definitely Shadow Sneaker get off some big time damage. Um, I kind of want to just Trash Slice and bulk up. I think Miss Magus is a straight ghost type, or is it psychic and ghost? Let me let me give a quick peek. Yeah, it's a straight ghost type. You got the fighting type and psychic. All right, I see you, and I think we're just gonna we're gonna go for the Terra bulk up. I like that. We're gonna try to get this Pokemon set up, and then ooh ooh a fighting move is gonna do us dirty here. Oh um uh. I think we outspeed Medicham, so I don't mind dropping our Hydreigon to set up a bulk up and a Tailwind. I think I'm cool with that. I think I'm cool with that. Because if Medicham takes me out, that's fine. You're going to either close combat me or high jump kick me. Correct? We're going to Terrasse Slice here. Just so Miss Magius doesn't one-tap me. Then we're going to get that 
bulky bulk up, baby. But again, as long as I get this Tailwind up, and it ends up detecting, that's huge. That is a huge play for us. That Pokemon ends up detecting. Tailwind comes out and about. I'm going to be able to bulk up, boost her stats here. And this Maggie is probably, if I had to guess, go goes for a dark move into my Cerule Edge. Right, and that's exactly why we Terrasilize. Shadow Ball. Are you Shadow Ball? Are you Mirror Herbed? You're Mirror Herbed. You're, you're next. You're dead. You are dead. You're dead, Metacham. I'm coming right after you. I'm double down. Considering you just detected that turn, I'm coming right after you. But this thing ends up leaning. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But again, I'm going straight after you. Try me. Where do I just Dark Pulse this thing? I'm going to Dark Pulse some Smaggies. That's my play. Might as well just get rid of this thing, right? Oh, this, you're the one that sashed. I thought Metacham would be the one sashed. You got the sash. A bitter blade's gonna fly here. We're gonna go back to full HP. And how much damage are we doing? Not bad damage. Considering it's plus one on defense, one more bitter blade will KO. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. Probably goes after my Cerule Edge. Yeah, with a high jump kick. Ouch. And then Gleam double kill. Trick Room. I got Shadow Sneak. I could Shadow Sneak. I'll Shadow Sneak on somebody. Uh, hmm. Definitely wanna Shadow Sneak you. Then what do I do here? Dark Pulse this Medicham. I'm with it. Might even protect the Medicham here. We'll see. We'll see. Shadow Sneak comes out here. We'll say bye bye to you. Now we gotta start wasting out these Trick Room turns. I do have Miyask Ravada with Sash, so I can reverse Trick Room if I want to. Now I have Rotom with Protect. We have options here. He's gonna end up Zen Headbutting. Yes, my Screw Edge. That works perfectly. Kind of what I wanted to happen. Get rid of the Miss Magius, have that Medicham slide over, hit my uh, Screw Edge, then have us KO this. Uh, this meta chain right here. Right? We should be able to KO. Awesome. So I still get Hydreon for one more turn because we're going to take Life Orb damage. And we're going to go from there. So do I throw out the Meow Meow? The Kitty Cat? Definitely an option here. Or do I throw out the Rotom Rotom? Let me see your speeds. I know, we, I know we're in Tailwind, but you guys are really fast. I kind of, I got it. Cancel out Trick Room, correct? Protect, cancel out Trick Room, go from there. It really depends who he throws out. It's going to be Gambo. So Gambo's gonna come out here, and hmm, I could burn Gambo, which would be good, and see Titan. There's no way you double down into me, right? There's no shot you double down into me. I gotta cancel that trick him here. There's no shot you double down into me, Ascarada. I do not have protect on you. That kind of hurts. So you know what? Screw it. I'm going for Jacob Meteor, right in the slot. Okay. Again, if I can just get rid of Trick Room here, I feel like we can really thrive here. Unless C Titan is Rock and Ice Shard. That could that could do me do me bad. Our opponent still has Terrasilization too. And they are gonna use it right now. So Terrasilization coming out here probably from the C Titan. No, the Gambo. The Gamby Gamby's doing it. Straight steel type. It wants to hit me hard. It's gonna go for an Iron Head and probably my Miyasco out of right. I wonder what C Titan's going for here. I'm just hoping I can get off this lovely jerk of me. And it is Rock and Ice Shard, which kind of hurts the soul. Definitely does hurt the soul. But again, you don't double down into me. I can still sash up here. Brick breaking me. I'm sashing. I'm here for the sash. Again, that thing can Ice Shard me. And... I think I just protect and burn the Gambo, right? I think that's got to be my play. Cause you're gonna ice shard. You're gonna, you're obviously gonna ice shard my Miyasco out, correct? You're obviously ice sharding my Miyasco out, so I can protect here. Throw a nice lovely Will O' Wisp and go from there. I am scared of the Sea Titan because if I had to guess, that thing's probably best it. Very bulky Pokemon. You kind of just go from there. But I'm gonna protect and say that the ice shard comes into my Miyasco out slot, right? Correct. Yes. Okay, cool. Rotom should be able to outspeed the Gambit. Can we land this Will O' Wisp, please? Please and thank you. I ask for one thing in this game. One thing. One thing. One thing from you, Rotom. One thing. I ask for one thing and one thing only. And you do that? And you blow it. You blew it. You blew it. You blew her one chance. That was our one chance there. That was our one and only chance. Our simply one and only chance was right there. 
and you blew it. You blew it. I'm gonna double down and see Titan here. Tiger Punch flying. This thing's an absolute bulk. You blew it. You blew it. Our one and only chance. Even though it would have, I don't know if we would have won it regardless, but you blew it. Let's see, Hydro Pump coming in here. Wow, that thing's an absolute bull. And yeah, I think we would have lost regardless, but still. Can I land a win Lewis, please? Please, thank you, but it's all good. We'll take that one in the chin. Our opponent played really good there. Popped the trick room while we were in Tailwind. Kind of messed us up a little bit, but hey, we're going to hop into a second battle. We're going to grab ourselves our first win. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. First battle was a warm-up for your boy. We're hopping into our second match, going up against a really cool team. Skelly Dirge, Gallade, Mimikyu, Golden Go, Murko, and last but not least, Rock and Garchomp. I feel like my Miyashiko Rada gets work done here. Gets some work done here. So I definitely want to bring it in somewhere, somehow. And then probably lead Hydron. Maybe try to set up a tail one, especially if they go into, like, Murko. I can always Terrasilize, too, if they do go into Garchomp. Block us from the dragon moves, all that good stuff. So I think Hydron with Tailwind is going to be a smart little setup here. So I'm going to go into it. Second Pokemon I want to go into, it could be Gambit. I feel like I want to bring Gambit, considering if they go Mimikyu, and pop that Trick Room, it could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. Hmm. What is the play call here? I don't mind Server Ledge here either. I could set up screens. Screens aren't bad. Screens are not bad. <laughs> we like screens here. We do like screens. Who do I want to go? I don't want to go Gambit. I don't know why. I'm feeling Gambit lead, but... Miyashiro Rider would obviously be a better, better lead, but I'd rather save it. I'd rather save Miyashiro Rider. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go Cerule Edge again. We're going we're gonna to get after it that way. And we're going to go Gambit, and we are going to go Miyashiro Rider. Actually, Skelly Dirge is a problem. It's a problem, but you know what? Screw it. I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it when I have to deal with it. Skelly Dirge is a problem. Because we, we have Rotom, and obviously Rotom would be super effective on a Skelly, but Terrasilization is a thing. Terrasilization is a thing. But we do have Cerule Edge to kind of deal with that. Which is not a bad bad deal with that. Because I can terrestrialize into grass and then have flash fire, which is awesome. But he's gonna end up going into these two, which not too bad for me. I mean, probably just gotta terrestrialize, right? Gotta terror you. And do I just start attacking here? Or do I tailwind this turn? Because obviously I feel like Murkrow tailwinds. I could shadow sneak. Or I could do a little bit of bulk up action. I'm kind of leaning towards a nice little bulk up here. Especially if he's going to tailwind. I can tailwind. He can always foul play me too, which is kind of scary, but... Screw it, I'm bulking up. I'm bulking up. Let's get these stats boosted. Thrasilizing the poison. I love the poison design. It looks like a Jolly Roger pirate ship flag. <laughs> like, look at this. Skull and crossbones. Jolly Roger, baby. Loving it. It reminds me of the Buccaneer from... Uh, you guys ever played Bloons Tower Defense? You guys are... the you guys are sick. But it reminds me of the Buccaneer from that. We're going to end up seeing two Terra types. Probably the Glade. No way you terrestrialize a Murkrow. Yeah. Okay. That would be weird. It's like Dynamax and Whimsicott. <laughs> but uh, he's going to go into straight normal. Okay. Pretty, pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, with us come out here from Murky Murk. Glade's going to go next. That's totally fine. You're going to Night Slash me. I'm dead, aren't I? Of course you're rocking Night Slash. All right, so Rule Edge, I, I see where we stand. I see where we stand. <laughs> Rule Edge. Tailwind coming out here. All right. So, so Rule Edge dies early on here. Surprised that thing's rocking Night Slash. I could have sworn that thing was going to go for a fighting move into my Hydreigon. But, uh, do we go Gambo, Gambo? Do we go Miyashirata? I'm, I'm liking Miyashirata here. I'm going to go Miyashirata. I think it's simply just flower, start flower tricking that, uh, that what's called down. That Glade. That thing is work, too. Could rip it with a Draco Meteor. Terra Blast might have to be the player. I'm going to double into the Glade. I'm doubling right into the Glade slot. Let's do it. Murkrow might be rocking Icy Wind. Could be tough, but I, I cannot stand Murkrow. I cannot wait for Series 2. Get this dang bird out of here. Bird's probably going to still be a little relevant, but less relevant, considering Paradox Pokemon are going to take over. But yeah, this might be one of my last videos for Series 1. Because I want to start getting some Series 2 content out as soon as possible. So I might start doing that very, very soon. But we're going to end up Flower Tricking here. Can this just KO? Really? A free Focus Ash? Really? A free Focus Ash? This Terrible Ash should be going over into the Chompy Chomp. Unreal. Unreal. But again, we get rid of this Pokemon. 
I, I don't mind that turn. He's gonna save Murkrow for later, which is a little weird, but understandable. But yeah, I definitely want to get Series 2 content out here as soon as possible. So if you guys have Series 2 teams, send them to me. Send them to me. I'm looking to showcase... I think I might already have a Roaring Moon team ready to go. But I'm looking to showcase Iron Thorns, which would be the T-Tar form. Really, really cool. And every other Pokemon. So if you guys have them, again, get them over to your boy. I would love to use them. Love to use them. But he brings out Garchomp. Chompy Chomp of the Chomp Chomps. And he's going to bring back out Murkrow, which is a little weird. It's a little weird, right? To bring back out Murkrow here. Because this just seems like we have to double down into you. But you can't Thrasilize. And I'm pretty sure my Hydreigon can straight up outspeed. Unless you have Quash. But I feel like I just Drake a Meteor you And I just keep attacking you, right? Because Drake a Meteor lands, you're dead, Chomp. So I feel like Chomp has to protect, swap, something along those lines. Correct? It makes the most sense. So I'm going to look to just Drake a Meteor that thing down. And it stays in the battle. So we end up popping this thing right here. Doing a little bit of damage. But Hydreigon should be able to outspeed, correct? Correct? You do. Yeah. So we can say bye bye to Chomp. Unless this thing's actually sashed. Cool. It's not sashed. Get it on out of here. Hydreigon doing some big damage. I don't mind dropping my stats to get rid of this guard Chomp. Yeah, that was huge that he terrestrialized the Glade. Now my stats are lowered. He's going to go for a straight foul bite into my Jolly Roger Bay and deal some damage to me. So I don't know if I should swap to get my stats back or just stay in here and start chipping up damage. It's going to be Skelly Dirge. So Skelly Dirge has to stay in here. I'm ripping that thing with Sucker Punches. I'm, a, I'm sucker punching that thing all day. You know what? Screw it. I'm dropping a jerk of meteor in this thing. Little Murkrow bird. Little Murkrow bird. Or do I double down to Skelly? I feel like we have to double down to Skelly, correct? I feel like we have to. It makes the most sense, considering like this little Murkrow birdie ain't doing gonna. It's not gonna be doing much to my team. So we're just gonna go straight after Skelly, Skelly. Get after it. Get after this little thing. Sucker punch flying. Boop. Doing half damage. Hydreigon should go next. What are you Tailwind for? Your Tailwind is still here. Crazy. And these are Master Tier battles, guys. This is wild. But good double down for us. We get rid of Skelly Dirge. And like I said, we were going to win match number two. That's exactly what we do. That is exactly what we do. Because there's no shot that this little bird comes out here. But it's really weird. He picked up an easy KO. He got the first turn KO. And then we just swept the rest of the battle. But I definitely want to get Cerule Edge out here in uh, battle number three. I definitely want to do that. But I'm going to go there. I'm going to go keep popping flower tricks. But I think our opponent cancels. It does not. It's going to stay here with little little Murkrow. He's going for the Murkrow victory here. The Murkrow comeback. He's going for the Murkrow comeback. Jacob Meteor coming out here. Wow. Doing a huge chunk of damage even though we're minus two. The move is so strong. We take some life for damage. He's probably going to foul play me. How dare you. How dare you take out my Hydreigon. How dare you. Unreal. Unreal this dude takes out my Hydreigon. But still, we got to get Cerule Edge out here in, uh, in match number three. Because we did not do it justice in, in this match. Legit let it just die to a Night Slash. But it, it was for a good cause. It was for that Tailwind. We got that Tailwind up. And we just kind of thrived out from there. But I'm going to hit this thing with a Kowtow Cleave. I'm going to hit this thing with a Sucker Punch. It's GG's. I don't know why our opponent has it canceled yet. There it is. Cancel the battle. One on one for today's video. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Corviknight team. Alongside with Sylveon, which Sylveon is always a problem. Always, always a problem whenever I face it. They also have Golden Go, T-Tar, Rotom Wash, and Amoongus. Like I said, I want to get Cerule Edge out here. And Cerule Edge is actually really good in this matchup. It's super effective on the Corviknight, the Golden Go, and the Amoongus. Which is huge all around. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So, do I lead Cerule Edge again here? I feel like I do. I feel like I do. If they lead T-Tar, I highly doubt it. I feel like Corviknight's got to be a lead, right? Overnight, maybe Sylveon here. I kind of want to go Gambit. Or I could save Cerule Edge for the back end. Which I don't mind. I can maybe pop a Trick Room. And then get Gambit out here. Because I feel like Sylveon's just a problem. It's just a problem. It really is just a problem. The only Tailwind Setter is going to be Corvo. Which makes me just want to lead Cerule Edge, right? Makes me just want to lead this Pokemon. I'm going to go Cerule Edge. Do I set up screens? No, I really don't want to set up screens. I'm going to go into Gambit. I do want to go into Gambit, have me ask about it, and then I want to have a Rotom Wash in the back end. I'm liking it. I think I'm with that. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Again, I want to showcase Rule Edge this battle. First battle did pretty solid. Dropped a nice little Bitter Blade. We got to bulk up rolling onto that thing, but that's about it. Second battle, again, we don't, we don't even want to talk about that. Night Slash just came through. Whoops. See you later, Rule Edge. Kind of hurt my soul, but he's going to end up bleeding Sylveon and Corvette. And 
Perfect. Just what we wanted. Just what we wanted. What we wanted. This is this one was just just this is what we wanted. I think it's a pretty simple play. Bitter blade. I could terrasize here too. Um I'm terrasizing anybody, it should be you. And I feel like we should make a hard reading countdown clean. I really do feel like we should make a hard reading countdown clean. I want to, but I don't have the moxie to do it. So I'm just going to stick with Iron Head. Because I feel like Sylveon's got a Thrash Lance here, correct? I don't think it is, because that's me. Unless Gambit's faster. No, it's third Sylveon. Okay, we just have the same picture. See, I knew it. I should have popped the Caltech Cleave. I did not have the moxie to do it when I when I knew what was happening. I already knew what was happening. This is going to end up Thrasalizing. I'm Thrasalizing. We came to play. We came to play. I should have popped the Caltech Cleave, baby. I should have just straight up sucker punched it. I mean, Kaltai Cleave would have been a good turn for this one. But we'll see what he wants to do. He's got a terrible S in me. Maybe set up a Tailwind. Bitter Blade flying. Getting after it. Big time damage. Half damage. Woo! On a Corvo. On a bulky Corvo. Of course, it's Rock and Rocky Helmet. This thing's going to roost. Wow. It's actually a really good call. It's actually a great call there. Terrible S coming hot here. Um, okay. I mean, you eat this, don't you? I like that. We actually pretty well. You can eat up another one of those. And Iron Head does some nice damage. Low key. Low key, it does some really nice damage. But from here, I could... Probably just pop another Bitter Blade, right? I mean, could he swap into somebody else? I could definitely bulk up here. But I'd rather just Bitter Blade down here. I think bulk up's going to be my far. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to finish off the Sylveon here. Actually, no, we're just gonna go into Sucker Punch. He's gonna Hyper Voice me. He might protect the Corv Knight or Withdrawal. Yep. There's the Withdrawal from the Corvo. He's gonna go into probably Rotom. Titar. Titar is gonna come out here. The Sandstream's out and about. We're in this thing with Sucker Punch. Trying to get off as much damage as we can. Can we maybe get a KO here? Oh, let's go, Gampo! Let's go, Gambo. Gambit. Big time work. Like I said, Sylveon was going to be a problem. That's a hot start from us. And this is a huge bulk up from us, right? We're bulking up here. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, jeans. Stop it. Stop it, jeans. You're too good. You're too good. All right. So we know we outspeed Titar, right? Well, Cerulege at least. He does not have Terrasalize anymore. Good pop some Bitty Blades. We'd love, we'd love some Bitty Blades. Which I really want to get off a of Bitty Blade here. We know the rock is going to do insane amount of damage. The rock move is going to do a bit too much damage. Boulder is going to come out here, and this... This seems just like a free bitty blade, right? Unless you're protecting. I think we just go right like this. I think we lose one Pokemon this turn, right? I'm hoping Golden goes over here with like choice specs or like a soul fest where it does not have protect. If it has protect, it has to protect this turn. Makes the most sense. No, it just straight up outspeeds me. Never mind. Bye, Cerule Edge. It's alright. Cerule Edge did some work here. Just straight up outspeeds me. I wish Cerule Edge was a bit faster here. What's he gonna go for here? Brick break. That might KO us. It does not. My boy. My boy soaking up. Iron Head coming in hot here. Doing some big damage. And now I'm just going to straight up sucker punch that thing. I'm sucker punching. And I'm going to get out Rotom. I'm going to say screw it. Mask Ride is going to be solid here, but... I want my boy Rotom here. I want my boy Rotom here. Rotom. I should have went in the Mask Ride. I might need Rotom. I might need Rotom for other instances. Because Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt should KO. You know what? Sure, I'm going to go to a Thunderbolt. And I'm just going to Sucker Punch here. Give me no reason not to. Give me no reason not to. Yo, Gambit's doing some work here in match number three. You know what? Draw the Golden Go. That's fine. I have me ask you how to deal with that later. And I need to throw a Burn onto this Pokemon X. And I think this is a really, really fine turn from us. This Sucker Punch is going to do nothing. Thunderbolt should pick up a KO, no problem. Right? Get it, Rotom. Really, Rotom? Really, you are so much better than that. 
You are so much better than that. You are so much better than that. But I'm gonna burn this Corviknight. Corviknight might be faster than us, and I'm just gonna sucker punch this Titar. Wow, that hurts. That hurts right there. That that indeed does hurt. Sucker punch coming in here. We get rid of Titar. Wow, you should be at full health, Ruth, huh? You should be chilling. We should be at full health. We're hoping that Rotom can outspeed and we can just burn this bird. And it does. Bro, I cannot land a Will-O-Wisp. Yo, Rotom, you're gone. You're fired. You are gone. You are gone. You are done for. Never again you're allowed to play. You're gone. You're done. He's done, guys. Done. He's done. He's cut from the team. He is cut from the team. I love this Pokemon death, but you missed two Will-O-Wisp. Two primetime Will-O-Wisps in today's video. Come on now. Come on now. I needed you. I needed you. But from here, we're just going to drop a Thunderbolt. Maybe, maybe my boy can actually make up some ground here. Because he is faster. He is faster than the Corvo. And if Golden Goes going to attack, he's just going to get ripped by the Sucker Punch and die. Rotom, come on now. Come on now. You're better than that. So much better than that. Sucker Punch coming in here. Golden Go. Bye-bye. All right, Rotom, we're giving him one last chance here. Let's see how he does with this. We might need a Paralyze for him to be back on our team. Rotom, what do you got here? What do you got cooking for us? I think he's back on the team. <laughs> I think he's back on the team. That was some big damage. And if we didn't have Rotom here, I don't think we were beating this Corviknight. But really, Rotom, you got to work on your will o -Wisp, man. 0 for 2 on the day. 0 for 2. It's just, oh, that's ugly. That is ugly. But we go to Miascarada. It's GG's. Battle number two, battle number three, going to your boy. Got Cerule Edge out there a little bit, which I love. And then from here, what's your actually 85 and you miss back to back? That's ugly. That's really ugly. But T-Bolt coming out here. Might as well Sucker Punch or just Flower Trick will probably do a bit more. So we're just going to go in that. Is this KO? It does not. Wow. Yeah, this is why I said we need a Rotom. <laughs> we 1,000% need a Rotom. This thing could just roost it for days and clean up this battle. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1 for today's video. Grab yourselves an amazing winning record with this Cerule Edge team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1. Grabbed you guys yet another winning record for the end of Series 1. Hopefully, you guys run this team. Hopefully, you guys use it up to get some Master Tier in Series 1. But yeah, absolutely love this team, Cerule Edge. Loving this Pokemon. Not as strong as I want to get it out there, but the other Pokemon really carried. But still, Cerule Edge, absolute beast. Super dope Pokemon to use. Dope design. I just love having it on the team. But guys, that's going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.